Hi everyone, welcome back to another allotment vlog. I thought I'd talk you through today the plans for our plot and what we're going to be growing this year. So this left hand side will be for root vegetables. We're going to move this raised bed with the manure in over into the corner there so it's tucked away nice and neatly. And then the vegetables that we're going to grow are potatoes, carrots, swede, parsnips and turnips. So they'll all be together in this nice big section. And then over on the other side, we're going to do raspberries over here. And then we're also going to do green beans and cucumbers because we did grow those last year when we first took on the plot and they did take off really well. So we're definitely going to do those again. And then we have got some garlic and onions over to the far left here, which will be there for a few more months yet. And we've got the rhubarb there too under that straw. The main path here you can see through the middle, we are looking at doing some other little paths coming off just so that there's easy access to each part of the plot. And we've used the leftover wood here to divide up our sections and we're going to top them up as we go. We've got these four bags of multi-purpose compost here because you may have seen from the last vlog, we put down two tons of soil but we did just need that little bit extra to top it up ready for when we can start growing. So Matt's just raking it all about here so it's nice and even. And this is going to be our first full year on the plot. So if anybody does have any tips or advice, any suggestions, then please do let us know in the comments below. We're definitely open to hearing what anybody has to say um, and we'll take it all on board. And it is a big learning process for us. So yeah, be really grateful if anybody has anything they'd like to share with us. So it's looking good now, just filling up the second section. And we're going to fast forward a couple of days in a moment, show you what else we've been up to on the plot. And then towards the end of the video, we're going to show you the seeds that we have. And also those seed potatoes that we picked up at the beginning of the video, we're going to show you where they are, where we're storing them ready for when we can start growing. Reasoning is that the uh, water should flow through there a bit better. If it was um, if it was a, a hard plastic sheet, it would it would fall off a lot easier. But it's not a lot to do about that, really. It'll be alright. Down here a few days ago, and Matt did a really good job of building this cold frame with the leftover wood that we had from when we did the borders. So we're definitely going to make good use of this to help get things growing. Yeah. yeah that works well for the handle as well and it should drain out of that hole as well. <laughs> now we're thinking of putting it along the back row here. Perhaps clear some of these branches back and then it can sort of sit, sit along there. thinking of painting it up as well so it adds a little bit of colour to the plot. It's really cool. Good size as well.
is some of the roots that Matt dug out. Huge, huge root deep down in the ground. We weren't going to do this wood, but we thought it sort of closes it off and neatens it off a bit. Makes it a dedicated little area. So we made a nice little area here, which was like what you see behind Rachel, just bare brambles. <laughs> so we've just raking a bit of extra compost around on it. And then we're gonna put the cold frame on it and it's got its own little area then. We've cut it out above as much as we can so it gets as much light as possible. Um, yeah, it's made a little nice area out of something that was just rubbish. Camera's going out of focus. Does that sometimes. Apologies for the uh, out of focus. There we go. Thumbs up, Rachel. So there we go. We've just moved the cold frame onto that section and it looks really good. So here's some of our seeds I thought I would show you. So I did forget to mention beetroot at the beginning of the video actually, so that's something that we're going to give a go. And then we've got two different types of carrots as well, so that should be interesting. So those are ready. Parsnips we're going to sow first, and then the other ones will be a bit sort of later on. And um, we've got cucumber seeds there as well. And then these are our green beans. So these are actually the seeds left over from last year. We've kept some aside, dried them out, keeping them in that little egg cup at the moment. So we're going to reuse those. So that, that's quite cool. Got a couple of flower seeds down here. Definitely want to try and do some flowers this year because I noticed last summer a lot of our other allotment neighbours were doing them. So I'm looking forward to that. If anybody has any suggestions of which flowers are good for allotments, then please do let me know in the comments below. And some other random ones here. Uh, cherry tomatoes. Thyme. I know Matt is looking to do sort of a herb box, so we'll keep you updated on that. And then we've got kale as well. We did try to grow this last year, but it didn't really go that well. So we might have to do a little bit of homework on that one and see sort of the best ways to, to grow that because we do like kale and we do eat it a lot. Um, and then I've got my little notebook here, so I'm going to make sure to log everything in there and yeah so the first things that we'll be sowing is parsnips cucumber and green beans i'm in our garage back at home and this is where we are storing our seed potatoes at the moment we found this was the best solution in the garage where it's sort of a good temperature there is a little bit of light coming in as well and we're storing them in these egg boxes and we sort of got them upright and spaced out. So we've got Maris Pipers, these ones, and then these ones, forgive me, I can't remember the exact name. I think they're, they're a red variety, I believe. So yeah, we just got them there waiting for them to start sprouting and then we can put them in the ground then. I'm going to end the vlog there. just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then make sure to give it a like because it does really help my little channel. And if you're not subscribed already, then I'd really appreciate it if you did. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.